Ah, good afternoon, my name is Duncan and welcome to Back Away From The Donkey or Baft Books. Any squeaks you will hear will be um, dog toys being played with drastically. Anyway, it's another very dreak day here. It's a bit dark. I've had to use some artificial lighting, so hopefully the light's okay. And I said this is my books I believe should be sci-fi masterworks. Um, a series of videos. I said it's uh, seven videos in seven days and just picking seven books and telling you about them and why I believe they should be masterworks. Hopefully you might discover some new things that you've not seen before or even think, ah, I should have read that or... Anyway, just a few ideas. Uh, there's a playlist set down below, which the link is below, which will be all the videos, including my introduction and the rules I made for this. So that's all below. And so let's get right on to today's video. Uh, today's choice is by Neville Shute, uh, a very famous book, On the Beach. And so you're probably wondering why I'm picking such a well-known book. Well, as I've seen around, it's um, you see people's sci-fi lists of their favourite science fiction stories or the famous post-apocalyptic books, and this never seems to be on them. And I'm not sure where it's because Neville Shute wasn't basically a science fiction writer or what, but it is an incredible post-apocalyptic book. Uh, written in 1957, I think. I'll just check my notes. F57. Uh, 1957. It, it was uh, originally done as a uh, four-part series in a London magazine. And it's developed to uh, the famous book it is now. Uh, so let me give you the basic story. The basic story, it's after World War Three, so technically post-apocalyptic, and a nuclear war and all the fallout from the nuclear bombs and that are taking over the northern hemisphere and heading slowly down south so very soon the whole world will be covered and there won't be any chance of life so the book is based in melbourne which is where a u.s submarine has gone to which was actually under water when the original nuclear bomb came on uh bombs went off uh Somebody detects Morse code coming from the area of Seattle, so they decide to take the submarine up to see what is going on, uh, along with a Lieutenant Powell, who's from the Australian Navy, and a Professor Osborne. Uh, the man, the commander in charge of the submarine, Commander Towers, is American. He has a family, and well, he had a family back in uh, America, who were obviously probably dead uh, and but he forms a relationship with a local woman but it's not a sexual relationship or anything like that because he wants to remain faithful to his wife but the whole story is about the incoming fallout and the fact that people are expecting all to die and how people react i saw a very weird review of this actually it was on youtube i can't remember who it was by and they didn't like the book because a lot of the book is people doing normal things People going out to restaurants or going to visit art galleries or people doing their normal jobs when they're waiters and things like this. And they said it just seemed very strange when basically it looked like everybody was going to die. But I totally get it. That's part of the thing. People want normality. They want systems, things they remember, things they think are normal. But it is a tough book to read. It is heartbreaking. It is, how can you describe it? Yeah, some of the decisions, the moral choices they have to make. Uh, and obviously, you know, you follow the, as well as following the um, submarine going up to Seattle to see if there's any life there. They drop off of other places around Australia to see if there's life there. But also, as it's based around Melbourne, you see all the life around Melbourne and they talk about. And it's just quite a heartbreaking book. And as a post-apocalyptic book, it is, yeah, it is stunning. And I think it should be in people's lists more, which is why I think if it's in something like Sci-Fi Masterworks, those people who maybe don't go to it because it's not written by a science fiction author might pick it up and i said if you've not read it you need to read it i said obviously neville shoot famous author wrote books like a town called alice and it's got quite a large bibliography if you want to have a look it up but yeah this is a really stunning post-apocalyptic book probably one of my favorites especially sort of after nuclear war type there is a 1959 film uh, which is Fred Astaire in, Ava Gardner, and trying to, uh, who else is in it? I've got it written down, Gregory Peck, and Gregory Peck in, and that is a really, really good film. There was a 2000 Australian 
made for TV film that I've never managed to see because it's only was released in Australia that apparently is pretty close as well. And there's been a couple of um audio radio audio adaptation forecast radio adaptions which I've heard before as well, which have all been good. But I said, yeah, if you've not read it, really should be the sci-fi masterworks is On the Beach by Neville Shoot. And if you've not read it, go and read it now. Anyway, so that's today's and I hope you'll stick around for see what I've got for you tomorrow. Anyway, thank you very much. Bye.